All right, let's talk about the WNBA and rookie sensation Caitlin Clark helping the Fever earn their first home win of the season in a highly anticipated matchup. ABC's Morgan Norwood joins us with more on that. Morgan, good morning. Good morning to you. Yes, they meet again. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, they have not been on the same court since March Madness. So there was a lot of hype behind their first professional matchup. And needless to say, guys, it did not disappoint. It was the highly anticipated matchup between college rivals Caitlin Clark and, Clark through the lane. and Angel Reese. Doubles to Reese, her jumper is good. The last time the two faced off, the Elite Eight in Women's March Madness, but Saturday, the now pro rookies on the WNBA stage. Clark connects. Caitlin Clark had an early run with two back-to-back -back threes, finishing with 11 points. And Angel Reese aggressive on the glass with eight offensive rebounds. Reese on the offensive glass. But this was the play of the game. In the fourth quarter, Clark seizing the rebound. Clark another rebound. Tossing the ball to Erica Wheeler, who handed it off to Kelsey Mitchell for the alley oop and the and one. No, that was pretty. All for a flawless finish on the fast break. But this morning, this play drawing intense criticism. Unnecessary. Kennedy Carter shoulder checking Clark, knocking her over in a call that was deemed a common foul. Clark brushing it off. I wasn't expecting it, but I think it's just like, just respond, come down, let your play do the talking. It is what it is. Um, it's a physical game. Fever head coach Christy Sides expressing frustration with the league after asking them to review questionable plays. We just keep sending all these clips into the league and they keep telling us why we're not right about our calls, but or what we think. But we're going to keep doing it. The Fever going on to snag their first home win in a game that featured three of the top picks from this year's draft. A star-studded rookie class driving the surge in historic ticket sales and viewership. And Kennedy Carter was also asked about that shoulder check post-game. She refused to answer questions about Caitlin Clark. The Fever, they take on the New York Liberty tonight right here in the city. So we'll see. Yeah, the way that women have been playing has got people talking. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan.